Yeah. So why, why do you think that has happened? What's the motive behind it? Why Harvard discriminates against Asian Americans? Yes. Because Harvard, uh, they, they really want a racially, specifically a racially diverse class. So they see Asians as overrepresented, right? Because if Harvard did not discriminate against Asian Americans, Asians would make up about 43% of Harvard's student body based on merit alone, based on grades, test scores, so what they do is that they artificially lower that to about half. Asian Americans only to less than half. Asian Americans make up about 20% of Harvard's student body um, because Harvard wants to admit more people of diverse races and they think it makes them more virtuous. Okay, so, so let's go through this. So 43% would be the student body Asians if it was based, based on merits, but it's not. It's currently 20%. And if we look at the uh, uh, based on national population, I think Asians make up 5.9 percent of yeah. America, give or take. Blacks are 13.4 percent. Hispanics are about 18 and a half. Then you got the whites who are the non-Hispanic whites are a little over 60 percent. Then you got a small percentage of Middle Easterns and others like myself that make up the rest of the percentage. Right. Yeah. So why is it? Why is it? Help me understand this part. Why is it that? The population is only 5.9% Asian, yet based on the criteria, 43% would be in Harvard. That's 59 to mm -hmm. 43%. Why is that? What are the Asian families doing differently than the rest of us? They are teaching values that beget good educational excellence. So Asian Americans study twice as many hours as the average American, Right. They, they study about 15 hours a week. The average American studies about seven. Um, Asian Americans uh, tend to prioritize um, academic excellence because they have to. Uh, because you come to this country and you don't have generational wealth, you don't have privilege, you don't have social connections. How are you going to move up in society? How are you going to provide a better future for your, for your kids? Well, it has to be through education because that's the great lever forward in Asian American culture. They really prioritize the valuing of, of, of education, especially Chinese and, and Chinese-centered um, cultures. Um, it's, it's pretty much baked into you know, the, the Confucian system in some way, the, the ancient old tradition. Um, and, uh, and, and as a result, you know, and the other thing that Asians do is that they have better two-parent family structures that allow them to provide a conducive environment for academic excellence. Uh, because you can have a, you know, uh, uh, you don't, your, your parent can pay more attention to the child and that's very much valued in the culture. So that's what begets the academic excellence part. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.